Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be filming a book haul. So in this video I'm going to be filming a book haul of like books that I'm getting rid of. The reasons why I'm getting rid of them is either I bought them and I'm never going to read them. Um, or I've read them and I didn't like them or I DNF them. So let's just get into it because I've got a feeling it might be a bit long. Um, this, I'm getting rid of the Percy Jackson series. This is the first book that I'm getting rid of. I, I didn't hate the series. Like, I'm not getting rid of these books because I hated them. I'm just never going to reread them. So, and I don't really want to keep five books that I'm never going to reread when I could um, put that room for the new books on my bookshelves, especially as it's coming up to Christmas. So yeah, I'm getting rid of the Percy Jackson series. Um, someone's come in to pick these up tonight. Um, I just put them on for free. And yeah, somebody's come in to get them tonight. So hopefully they'll go to somebody else that will love them. The next book I'm getting rid of is It's a Wonderful Night by Jamie Adams. Um, there's no real reason why I'm getting rid of this. I picked it up and I'm never gonna read. I'm never gonna read it. So. Might as well go. <laughs> um, the next book is Shark Island. Um, this is a book that I read. I think I read it about a year ago or something. I am never going to reread it. I can't remember what it was about. Um, yeah, I can't remember anything about it. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this. I might give this to my sister who's obsessed with Forex. Um, but yeah, I usually give my sister's first refusal anyway in case they want anything. So that might go to her. The next book is Five Feet Apart. Um, I DNF this um, because I wasn't loving it. It was getting like really sad and I hate books about illness so I don't know why I went into this thinking that I could handle it because I can't. Um, so yeah, this is a DNF. I'm getting rid of this. But I can't really judge it because I didn't read the book. I DNF'd it. The next book is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this book, but I'm never going to get around to reading it. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason I'm getting rid of this. The next book is called The Night Rainbow by Claire King. Um, I tried to read this in November. Um, I didn't like it, so I think I got like... 70 pages in and I just stay left it so yeah the next book is called make a Christmas wish I'm just getting rid of this because I'm never gonna read it it's a Christmas book and it does not another Christmas until next year so I'm getting rid of this the next book I'm getting rid of is called another Christmas book called the magic of Christmas again it's a Christmas book I'm getting rid of it because I'm not gonna read it the next book I'm getting rid of is called How to Find Love in a Bookshop. Now I'm getting rid of this because I have the paperback copy and I'd much rather read a paperback than a hardback. So yeah, that's why I'm getting rid of that. Um, I've got another Christmas one here by Sarah Morgan. It's called Christmas Ever After. This was on my December TBR but I'm not going to read it. So yeah, that's going. Um, I've got this book, I Did a Bad Thing by Linda Green. This does sound interesting, but I just don't think I'm going to um, get around to reading it. But this one does sound really good, but I don't think I'm going to get around to reading it, so that's going to go. The next book is actually a book that I read and DNF'd in... December I have two copies of it so I'm going to get rid of both copies and um, it's The Gift by Cecilia Ahern. Um, yeah my thoughts will be on my December wrap up but I didn't like it. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so yeah I'm getting rid of both copies of that. Um, the next books are by, well the next book or books are by Danielle Steele. So I've got Danielle Steele Safe Harbour, Danielle Steele Bittersweet and Danielle Steele Lone Eagle. So I read one of Danielle Steele's books, Undercover, 
um, and I loved it. Ever since then I've been buying loads of Daniel Steele books and I own like over 50 I think and realistically I'm probably not going to read these um, so I'm just getting rid of them for a bit of space that's all but yeah that's the only reason I'm getting rid of these I think my sister has said she's going to take these off so that if I do want to read them in the future she can have them she can just put them on her bookshelves See if room on mine. The next books are literally all hardcovers. This one is called Orange Blossom Days by Patricia. Ooh, I don't know how to pronounce, but yeah. This book looks beautiful. I got it from a charity shop. Um, when I go into charity shops, I usually pick up books that I'm probably never going to read. So yeah, I picked up this because when I go into a charity shop, I always buy something even if I don't want something because it's a charity shop and I'll do anything to help charity. So yeah, um, I bought this and then I just went through all my books to save space and this one just didn't sound interesting to me anymore so I'm getting rid of it. Hopefully someone can read it and love it. Um, this book I'm getting rid of because I've got the paperback now with this book. Um, I got the paper back in a deal with another book so I'm never going to read the hardcover and it's Wedding Night by Sophie Kinsella. Um, yeah, I'm getting rid of it because I've got the paper back and I'd rather read paperback than hardback. Um, this one is Red Seas Under Red Skies. Um, it's the second book in the Loch Lamora series. I DNF'd the first book and that's already gone so Red Seas Under Red Skies I'm not going to get around to reading it so it might as well go to a charity shop where somebody might want to read it or might need that book um, this one is a book that was just in a box of old books and went onto my bookshelves but I'm never going to read it A Labour of Love I don't know what it's about it just ended up on my shelves for some reason um, the next book is called A Season to Remember. Again, this is one of the situations where I went in a charity shop, bought a book that sounded good, brought it home, never read it, and now I'm DNFing it. Now I'm getting rid of it, not DNFing it, um, because I don't have any intentions of reading it. Also, same with the next one. Sorry, we have to let you go. I'm getting rid of this because I have no intentions of reading it either. So yeah. Also, most of these are because they're hard books. So the last book, and the last book I'm going to be talking about in this video, is How Not to Murder Your Mother. Um, I don't even remember getting this, so that's why it's getting on hold. Plus, I read the synopsis and it didn't sound like something that I would want to read. So I'm getting rid of this book purely because of that. Um, one of my friends, I think, bought it me as like a dorky present, but yeah. Um, they're the books that I am getting rid of. Um, and that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe, like it, and I'll see you next week for another video. Thank you very much. Bye.